Here we have the 2020 Acura RDX A-Spec all-wheel drive. Comes with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine, an automatic transmission, and a beautiful white color. Take a look inside. Before we take a look inside, let's take a look at the key fob, the vehicle is good remote start engine. So we'll get the going on for us right now. Starts up just before us, and as you can be able to see, those mirrors are going to fold out when you unlock the vehicle. Also, is a keyless entry feature to get inside the vehicle. Coming inside here, we do have a nice armrest here with our power locks, windows, and mirrors, and a matter of memory seat functions there. ELS Studio with 3D speakers, trunk button, and memory seats. As you can see, we have the premium black and kind of gray with that gray trim leather upholstery with our power driver and lumbar support. Take a look at the body. it fully start up here via the push start button. On the left side here, we do have our uh, road departure mitigation button, our park sense audio, our uh, windshield wiper de-icer, our forward collision alert, traction control on or off, brake hold, and our electronic park brake. Left side of the steering wheel, we do have paddle shifters. That's actually on each side, but behind that we have our automatic headlights. On the right side, we have our auto rain sensing wipers. Left side here, we have our audio, radio, and Bluetooth controls, as well as our heated steering wheel button. On the right side, we have our adaptive cruise control functions as well, as well as a little dial here to go through some of these options on the digital gauge. As you can see, we do have low fuel in that first little tab right there. Navigation, compass, your maintenance, your tire pressure information, your SH all-wheel drive information there for you as well. Your sport gauge settings, speed distance units, and back to that initial warning. Coming over to the infotainment here, we're going to start off with the audio here. As you can see, we have AM, FM, and Sirius XM uh, radio, as well as Apple CarPlay available for you as well. Come over to the navigation. Do do. It's going to search for phones. I must have clicked the wrong one. There we go. So you can see there's a nice navigation screen here, which is kind of nice there. So you can use this or you can use your Apple CarPlay for all your navigation needs. If you want to pick your phone, you can. If you do, you'll have access to your recent messages and favorites and all that good stuff. Got your Bluetooth audio. Hop into our settings here. Got your system connections display and other vehicle settings. Scroll down here. Other camera settings and sound settings there for you too. We're going to take a look at the vehicle settings here for us. You have your driving position set up, your meter set up, your power tailgate set up, your keyless access set up, your driver assist system, your door set up, lighting set up, and maintenance information. We'll take a look at that driver assist system. You have the forward collision warning distance, the ACC, uh, so the adaptive cruise control forward vehicle detect beep, your road departure mitigation, lane keep assist, and blind spot information. And if we go to the other screen here, do have your messages, USB audio, auxiliary input, system updates, accurate link, and your AT&T hotspot. Making your way down here, you have your volume rocker, your hazard light, your dual zone climbing control functions, your AC button, your front and rear defrost, heated and ventilated seats for the driver and passenger, each with three different levels of heat and ventilation, uh, your dynamic drive mode. So if you come over, yeah, there you go, right there. So you have your snow, comfort, sport, and sport plus. Your auto start and stop right here. Got a nice transmission shifter. We'll take a look at the backup camera. As you can see, there is a park sense audio and visual there for you. I was using this to control everything on the infotainment. It's kind of like a touch screen, like your iPad or iPhone. Get your back button, home button. Uh, use this for the this little button on the right side here. You can scroll through your medias, clock, and all that good stuff. Side this back, we do have our USB input. Hold that up. You can also open this up and get an additional uh, center console storage. You have dual moonroof up there as well, which is super nice. If it's a summer day, you want to have that open. Nice sunglass holder. Interior lighting options with our link and our SOS button. Rear view mirror with our universal garage door opener buttons there on the bottom. Now let's take a look outside. Here at the front we have our LED headlights, a nice gloss and matte black finished grille with your Acura badge in the middle. It's a super clean front end with the contrast of that white and black. Looks super clean. Have our uh, Goodyear tires on our alloy Acura rims that are gray in color, which again looks super nice with this vehicle's color. A spec badge there as well. Got a nice little black strip there. You got paint matching door handles and rear tinted windows. You come around to the beautiful LED taillights of this Acura RDX A spec. Dual exhaust there along the bottom. Nice big exhaust pipes. RDX badge and SCH uh, on the right. A spec badge right there. Press the button, open up the trunk. 
press the button, opens up nice and easy for us. So you can see there's tons of room back here as well, which is super nice. We look down here, got additional storage space. If I can get that open with this tab. There we go. Additional storage space under there. If you need, have a nice all weather mat here as well, too, to kind of keep everything clean. You can also fold down these seats by pulling this little latch right here. Seats automatically fold down nice and easy there for you. Obviously, you can do the same with the right side with that latch right there. All right, the close, press that button right there. Goes down nice and easy. Now let's take a look at those back seats. Here in the back seats, we have a nice little armrest with our power windows, tons of legroom and headroom as well. We do those all weather mats in there as well, which are super easy to take out and clean. Have the same premium leather upholstery as we have in the front. It's kind of a little suede here as well too for these rear seats, which is kind of nice. Uh, we do have our two rear air vents, USB uh, input there for you. No one in that middle seat can fold it down and get two additional cup holders and armrest if you so choose. Also, these seats do fold down nice 60 40 split. Can also do it from the middle seat here. Come down nice and easy there for you. You have tons of extra room and easy access in the trunk. If you're going camping, get your skis, snowboards, hockey bags, golf clubs, whatever it may be, you have tons of room in this Acura. Head back outside. That'll wrap it up for the 2020 Acura RDX SH all wheel drive A spec. If you have any questions or want to book a test drive, feel free to visit us at parkmazic.ca. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll catch you in the next one. Have a good day.